But I recently, unlike, okay, I just showed you my previous community where there's no tombstones. Pretty clean playthrough so far. Look at the tombstones back here, baby. These peeps have had some people come and go. Six of those back there are from one day. Starting, not the farthest one. That one died yesterday. Total bonehead mistake on my part. Six of these, from not counting the tallest one on the far right behind Co. But the next six over are all from using the stuck feature and being transported directly on top of three bloaters. That's insta dead. Because can't move because of the bloater gas. So I try not to get stuck, but when I go on my main my main run, I'ma catch Mickey on the flip side. Because I'm going to go show you where that last person, that tallest tombstone was behind code. Because I'm, I'm kind of upset that I was not able to recover any of her gear. Because she had some pretty sweet stuff on her. But if you were watching it a little earlier in the stream, you may not have seen it. But I boneheadedly through fire directly on top of myself. Well, I came up here to Mount Tanner. And I don't need to keep getting on those. But I totally threw flame to take out an infestation and I hit the wall instead of it going through the door and I caught myself on fire and got eight by three feathers. <laughs> Legit, it was that quick. It was total bonehead mistake. But she was dressed exactly um, like Payon Paya, whatever this person I had them dressed in the exact same clothing. I was hoping to come up here and recover her gear because right where right where you get your very first truck in the original State of the Cave story. I can't even drive over this bridge. I'm so used to jumping over this. A horde there every time. All right, but I came up here. Now I have heard people say that that person is alive somewhere on this map. I have never found it. Never. Never. But see, I came over here, and right when I went to, I was actually kind of right here. Right when I went to throw that flame, I happened to hear the feral, and I turned, like, right as I was throwing. Look, there she is! Holy smokes! I was just talking about it. First time for everything, folks. First time for everything. Sorry I had to kill her, but she was the person I always Hello sent there. out you on dangerous to meet up in missions. Town? I'm gonna have to screenshot that. The lighting's kind of terrible, but that is so funny. I come up here to tell you guys this story, and I've never been able to recover a lost person before. Well, there's my screenshot so I can remember it. But she was what I considered my expendable character because. Her ability was music, which did give us some decent morale bonuses, but I would send her on dangerous. The problem is it's not letting me loot her, which is kind of... Okay, I got to kill her, but now it's it's not letting me loot her. Uh. 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 
But anyway, I was standing about right where her dead body is. I, in stealth mode, came up, opened this door. And then I kind of, like, quickly backtracked over here, turned around to throw a flame when I heard the ferals. The flame hit on this wall and naturally catches me on fire, and I get ate by the three ferals. And then you just saw me kill her. Problem is, she still has all of my sweet freaking loot on her, because it ain't letting me loot her body. <laughs> Is it showing her corpse on the map now? Nope. Huh. I don't have an outpost up here to see if her stuff went into my locker. But she had a pretty... Someone just showed up here wanting to chat with you. She had a pretty unique weapon on her. Well, oh man, this game's been trolling me since the day I started playing it. Oh well. At least you guys got to see it live on stream that I got to kill my own person, even if it ain't giving me my loot back. 